What's up, y'all? I'm back on another episode of High and Hungry at the office. Sitting at B-Real's desk with some of his plants. I like that some of our fans have taken the time to plan vacations and make trips out here and hit some of these restaurants. And, you know what I mean? Like, I like that connection that you guys get from us showing you what kind of food is out there. But the food catering service that we're going to feature today, it's kind of like, you know how it's, you have Direct TV, you have Pizza Hut, you know, you have fucking Postmates, all that shit comes to you. Catering is like, a, it steps it up a notch by like providing like, you know what I mean? Like the whole fucking, the whole main course, all the fucking courses in the table and they whip it out and fucking just bam, fucking put that shit on a fucking table for you and it's done. And ironically, the name of the catering service, of the food catering service is called BBQ Me To You. What, of a, what better definition than that? It's literally, we're going to show you that their name is literally the definition of how they get down. Everywhere I go, if I see good food, I don't care if it's the fucking taco guy in the middle of the fucking desert or if I fucking eat some barbecue out in the middle of the desert. And I did happen to eat barbecue this time in San Bernardino in the desert. And I got to tell you, it's some of the best damn barbecue I've ever had. And I'm very picky with my barbecue. You know what I mean? Like, I, there's a lot of things I consider. I mean, Pedro's a picky ass eater too. You gonna try some of this shit today too? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of food, huh? I'm gonna try it. Of course I am, bro. It's been a while. It's been a while since I tried it. But is that something that you like? You like? You go out of the way to like to, to to eat? Yeah. But recently, the restaurants I've been to here have disappointed me, so I don't even bother <laughs> looking for barbecue anymore out here. <coughs> unless I get a real barbecue. <coughs> <coming down. coughs> I'm willing to put some dope <coughs> or some weed that <coughs> today <coughs> you ain't gonna get disappointed, dog. <coughs> I literally <coughs> will starve myself a whole sesh to wait till his food is done. What was the first type of barbecue you ate, dog? The first barbecue I ever had, I mean, I don't even know if it's considered barbecue, it's carne asada. That's like the Latino way of barbecuing. That's the first time I ever had kind of like anything that was barbecue. You know, ever since then I was like, "Yo, anything on a grill, you know that shit's gonna be fire." Well, what about you? What's your, what's your, what's uh, what was your first barbecue you ever tried? You remember that shit? Like you said, carne asada. I had carne asada a long time ago. Like when you were a kid. Yeah. What about real barbecue? A Chicago's, the restaurant in um, on La on what what is it? On Lincoln and Sepulveda. Chicago's? Lincoln, Lincoln and um, yeah, it's in like um. What's that area? By LMU. That good ass shit? It, it was. I mean, I ate there recently. I was pretty disappointed, but... <laughs> what disappointed you about it, dog? Like, or, Well, you know, time passes, and you know, I guess there's different cooks. Cooks quit. I want you guys in the comments to let us know what was what was your first time you tried barbecue, and what was it? You know what I mean? Like, I know some friends that get down cooking on some mean barbecue. I'm going to show you guys what the fuck we got today. One thing I wanted to point out for all the merch, there hasn't been a merch drop in a couple weeks. Don't worry, I'm working on some shit. I'm, I'm dropping some High and Hungry pins that are going to be under the hamburger pins, the High and Hungry pins. They are going to be up there, so make sure you look out for those. Those are at High and Hungry, at, uh, flavorsbyezone.com, and that is the High and Hungry High Burger pins. Also, a lot of you motherfuckers don't know that uh, you know I do have a music career, and I've been, I've been making fucking great music, just like I've been making great content, so iTunes, Spotify, um, you know, SoundCloud. So you can look me up at e-zone. I got I dropped the album under pressure, not a you know, a couple months ago. I just dropped a album, a collab album with uh, Cray, Cray from the OC. You know, it's called Cray Zone. Make sure you check that out. Just all you gotta do is go ahead and just search me. That's it. E-zone, and uh, let me know what you think. You know. <coughs> Bitch. <coughs> <coughs> That's what I thought. 
stop, bitch. I don't know the process between, I don't know the process of making this, but we have the cook here so, in fine. the creator of uh, Me To You. Patrick has been, nice to meet how long you. have you been doing this, Patrick? Man, years, my whole life. Half of my life, but I'm old, so your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so, damn, you've been doing it for like 30 years now? <laughs> long hey, time, long time. You're a catering service, you know what I mean? Like, And this is like as independent as it can get when you're trying to come up in the restaurant industry. Yeah, it's that and backyard, you gotta find me. I feel, and you know, as like, comparing it to like another, like, in, you know, independent lane, it's like, you know, when you're a musician, like, a lot of people say, oh, like, your most, like, shit that has the most, like, deep shit is your first shit when you're hungry. So I figure, like, when it's kind of like the same way when you're starting out independently, because some of the best foods that I've tried have been from, uh, what is it, restaurants and chefs and cooks that, are still on that independent grind. Like, yo, I love fucking hitting up food trucks. I love hitting up taco stands. People but, who aren't comfortable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just, I, just it's that hustle, and I feel that that adds a big part and the extra taste to the food, and it does. It, it, it really well, the does. Passion. Yeah. The one with one, you get the passion. Like, you have to have one to have the other. And together, man. You no. just you together. I know. It's been well, a long what, night. What did, what did you bring for night. us today before we show <laughs> All right, let's check it out. St. Louis ribs, smoked. It's about six hours on these right here. Six hours on that? About six hours on the ribs. Yeah, look at this. A little bit of sauce. Yeah, look, this is going to be, it's going to be beautiful. Damn, look at that. Uh, it's, it's Dude, you like beautiful. To, to, to start, <laughs> like, oh, that shit is, all right, that's sexy, open up, bro. Open up those beans over there. Oh, damn. All right, so we get the St. Louis rib. Damn, this is like some real, real. So some beans. Damn. What are borracho beans for the viewers? Jalapeno, onion, bacon, and pretty much a little bit of everything thrown in the beans. Hey man, I hope everybody's gonna come in with an appetite today. Better. They better. Like I'm like I'm there's no way you can't do like not do more than two plates. I mean this is I wish three plate Tommy was here. <laughs> <laughs> look at how this jiggles right here, bro. Yeah, this is uh That's like, look at that jiggle. <laughs> this is about sixteen hours right there. 16 hours? Smoked, yeah. Can I cut yeah, it? That's because it's not real big. Go for it, dude. I just want to show them what's on the inside. Ooh. Damn, look at that. That's fucking sexy. Open it up. Wow. Wow. Look at that, people. Look at that. Look at that layer right there, like, yes, you can say that you can go to a buffet and get this in Vegas, but it ain't gonna look like this. It's just an illusion. It's a mirage in the desert. Like, hey, dog, you I can't. Fuck you that way. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been like this, like, no. What do you think, dog? I mean, this is just the taste of the brisket right here. Look at this, this the tenderness of it, man. Wow, man. And, how do you know what to compliment dishes like this, bro? Because like you put like every time you cook, like I've had like pickles. You have uh, what is this pico de gallo, and then you have the cheese that goes on top of it. Like, is that just like you're like fuck it? Like you figure that out on some stoner shit, or like <laughs> well, that has a lot to do with it. You know, things complement each other. A lot of vinegar, a lot of spice, lots of peppers too. Uh, you know, everybody's a little different. You know, you, you, like, this is how you know you're like, right here. I think you, you, when you're a cook you and you, you do something like this, you have to be comfortable with just like handling the food, like the way you're doing it, man. That's like beast mode right here, man. Yeah. It's the noise. Listen. What is it? What is it called? MS, what's uh, AS, uh, get, ASMR? Yeah, get, get an ASMR mic right now. Oh. I mean, imagine that. Look at that. With the, with the, with the tortilla, dog. Yes. It's our mano. Ooh, I haven't, you know, I've always wanted to do that, bro. But you know what the buffets mm -hmm. that already have tortillas? Nah, they don't. You can get a little bit of. Oh, my God. How much for one rig? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because that happens sometimes. Yeah, you can't eat barbecue with those bad boys in there, dog. Uh -huh. This is a little leaner down here. On this end. Look at so, that slice tech right there. If man. you don't like the fat and you want something lean, 
You come down here to this end. Another bruise again. Oh, pretty good. I, I like this right here. That's the best part right there. That's where I would start. See that puffy nose on the floor? That's where I would start. They get, they get the DRI zone. <laughs> Like for real homemade from the flour. From she, flour. Uh, no water added. So yeah, yeah, everything. That's, I don't think y'all really do that here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is like, like, this is their hooked up me to you barbecue taco right here. Handmade. I'm excited for this. I've never had a, ta a taco that's made with this kind of meat like that. You know, it's 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 a high and hungry first. And this is oh damn, a little splash of the barbecue sauce. Delicious. I get to try the exclusive first, huh? Taco. Have you ever had meat like this in a taco? No. Pause. <laughs> How was that? Tremendous. I've never thought Pico the guy would go very good with this kind of meat. Are you okay? I feel this like you're having a, <laughs> dude, like, I, a, like a breakdown right now. I mean this. You're not gonna find this anywhere near. My God. You, you need, if you haven't tried making a taco out of brisket and put Pico the guy on there, I would advise your first one, if you're ever in California and you throw a little get together, me you make, you yep, you may, you hit up me to you barbecue. <laughs> we will actually, Friday night, be in Covina at Red Wine and Brewery. Brewery. Oh, shit. So, if you hungry Friday night, Rev Wine and Brewery. In, in uh, West Covina. There's beer and wine and barbecue. Damn. <laughs> and I think it's sports running friendly, as a matter of fact. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool little spot. Oh, here it is. She's going to do the taco review right now. Here we go. Here we go. How good is that? Oh, my Lanta. Damn. Doesn't it make you feel bad that it's so fulfilling? It's a business right here, dog. Like, I don't, if you never fucking tried this, like, you have to fucking come out to, like, you, follow them on Instagram. Hit them up. Let them know, hey, what does it take for you to come out, like, you know, like, wherever you're at in California, I'd be like, yo, like, just I make sure. They would have these at the fucking Rams games instead of you all the other bullshit they I've have. been thinking about that. I grew up, we didn't have a football team, like, where you could go. Can I go tailgate this? Would y'all eat this? Fuck, Fuck well, yeah! I would. Like, I don't even happen? go to rap games, but that? the fact that you you you're, yeah, you're gonna be there, I'm going friends. there. Be big, yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Hey, look at Pedro putting on his gloves. Like he's gonna OJ somebody. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey Pedro, why are you getting up? Look at this guy right here with his fucking gloves. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> oh, oh fuck you guys! Dirty beans? Yes. That's the dirty beans. Frijoles sucios. Yes. Oh my god, this is... That's a whole meal right there. You might have to get high so you get hungry again. Oh, we... I fucking... I got triple high right now. <laughs> Whoo! Look at this. This is literally like... I feel this can cure a hangover in a second. <laughs> Everybody's wearing gloves. Fuck that. I eat like a man. <laughs> Con mis manos. You know? Fucking take my fingers out of... You know? Top your thing. Hold on. Oh, it's like, it's like DUI fries, but no fries. Put a bunch of shit on there. This is it right here. This is like, this is a hybrid of gumbo and barbecue combined. What? I mean, yo, if you could, if you could find me some barbecue gumbo out there, uh, YouTube, I, I've never heard of it, but it's, I, this shit just oh, got man. created right here. Oh, nice little plate of gumbo. This is just beautiful, man. The barbecue sauce. They yeah, got the barbecue sauce. Yeah. I like that it's a little spicy, but it's a, it's like the perfect kind of spicy. Yeah. So this is like chili and gumbo fucked in a barbecue. Seriously, man. I, that's you that know how they you know sauce, how they that barbecue sauce on there. You could drench it in that. For me, you could have drenched it. I love that fucking sauce. Fucking that good. little picante taste on it. What it's do you, sweet. It's like a, it's a perfect combination of like sweetness and spiciness. What, what, what do you think, Picky Dro? I mean, I think it's pretty good if you're scarfing down the, the taco. 
Piggy approved. All right, so what I have here is the St. Louis ribs. And look at this right here. Some really St. meaty Louis. ribs. You got to complement it with the bread. St. Louis doesn't have a football team anymore. But we, <laughs> but we do. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is what we do to celebrate. Man. Motherfucking right. Motherfucking right. My pocket's feeling kind of tight. And I'm stressed. Man. Can, I, can you just like, can you just get a moment of silence for all the hard work that's been put into this right here, man? Give it a fucking... Because this right here, like... Ring the bell ten times for this. Like, this is an automatic TKO. Like, I'm serious, man. Like, you need to try this in your life. Stop depriving yourself. It's worth the get-together. Like, I mean, fuck, interact with other humans. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't... Yeah. A barbecue brings motherfuckers together. Man. For real, it does. Just a combination. This is an art of flavors, bro. You gotta be like an art, a real fucking artist to pull this shit off. How you feeling, Pedro? Pretty bomb. Interact with the barbecue. With hey, the people. Hey, you're sounding like it's kind of like the pico. Pica? No, it's pretty Pica. bomb. Oh, is man. We've literally fucking feasted today. And I mean, I don't normally finish all the meals, you know, like we usually have to like, we split them up. You know, it's kind of hard to do it on a high hungry, you know, like episode because it's just because it becomes a lot. And when I do go in all the way, it's because the shit is fire. I mean, I don't care if my fucking fingers are going to smell like onions, pickles and meat for like a couple hours. It's... It's, it was worth it, man. This shit is visually appealing. It tastes amazing. Pat, the cook behind it, is definitely gifted. He, he should not stop what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And you you guys as viewers and fans of food should help him take, step it up a notch. Uh, make sure you follow them at the links below. That's for me to you barbecue. Uh, check them out. It's right. All the info's at the bottom. You can go ahead and uh, see where they're at if you're in if you're in LA or any of the in Southern California, you can make the drive and go check it out and see for yourself. And you know, hey man, Pat is 420 friendly too. So if you catch him on, a, you know, before setup shit, you might smoke a joint with a motherfucker and do, do the high and hungry. Throw a joint or two in the tip jar. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, him. Shout out to Pat being the cook for uh, BDU and his and his and his wife making the tortillas and helping him get down because it's a team. It's a mom and pop's business. It's yeah. a mom and pop's catering business, and. This, I mean, hey man, this, 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 there's still fucking, there's still some heart left out there, bro. There's still a lot of people that put heart. You gotta have heart to make this. You can't just half-ass this. You gotta have, it. you gotta pour, pour your heart and soul into this food. You can't be no punk bitch. This no shit. punk bitch. <laughs> yeah, this shit. Like you said, it's an art, man. I, I'm really <laughs> speechless, man. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna fall asleep here. But I don't care. Like you guys, you know, if, I, if I get videotaped, I don't like you guys. I don't care, dude. I'm fucking tired. The last time we ate I'm good, full. we almost fell asleep, dog. Yeah, that was, that was last week. Yeah, that was last week when everybody was knocking out. So, uh, one last time, Hyatt Hungry TV on Instagram. Make sure you follow all the behind the scenes and bloopers at uh, youtubecom slash We Don't Smoke the Same Podcast. <laughs> Damn, you hear the you hear the fucking noises by Pedro over there? Like fucking, he's over there like make. <laughs> follow me at Flavors by E Zone. Uh, follow me to you barbecue. Uh, e Zone the firm, which is my personal account. And uh, check out the Under Pressure album. Check out uh, Cray Zone album. And there's an upcoming album that I have yet to be titled, but it's already done. Uh, do the track or two with Shikadelic. Hell yeah. So uh, I know how to rap. He does. We both know. You guys just fucking think we just get high all day. <laughs> For real, man. <laughs> we get high at E. But we got fucking different careers, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, until next time, I'm going to fucking get thirds. I mean, fuck, this was worth thirds, fourths, fifths. This was worth fucking getting it. I ran the whole fucking... I hope nobody shows up today so I can take some home. <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah, bro. All right, let's go get...